Well, she's been described as a mix between a stand-up comedian and Alicia Keys. And she's also, and she just snort laughed, and also a Division <laughs> One registered nurse as well. Her show Triage has sold out and received rave reviews in Sydney, Perth, Melbourne, Adelaide and Edinburgh. And it's now making its New Zealand debut at Auckland's Fringe Festival. It is so great to have you on the cafe. Zuli Khan, welcome. Yes. <laughs> Life, then. Uh, <laughs> there, there, there aren't many people who are a Division One registered nurse as well as a cabaret act as well. I mean, tell us a little bit about your medical background. Oh, I've been working as a nurse since I was 18. I've, I've done everything. I've worked in nursing homes, I've worked in public, private hospitals, everywhere in high acute areas and lower areas. Yep, yeah, I've been everywhere. And when did cabaret become a part of your life? Uh, I've been working as a nurse for a few years and I uh, moved to Melbourne from Sydney and I got into the Victorian College of the Arts and um, apparently I was a singer so <laughs> I had all these unhidden talents I didn't know about and um, a lot of my teachers mentored me and they suggested that I write something because as an artist you can't rely on things to come to you, you have to make your own work. So yes. yeah, that's That is how definitely it becoming more, um, more in this day and age too isn't it, you have to make your own work. Mm. Absolutely. So when you're working as a nurse, mm. do you do some did you do routines to cheer your patients up? Or just say, you're bedridden so you can't move. Can I just try this out on you? Did you do anything like that? Uh, you have to build a rapport first. I think you'd become quite a scary nurse if uh, you just rocked in there and started singing. Um, especially with a lot of the people I was dealing with that were very sick. So I had to build a rapport first and when they got to know how mad I was, that's when I could, you know... <laughs> and you know, they'll appreciate this. Yeah. Give them a bit of a flourish as I hand them their, <laughs> their bottle at the end of the night. Jazz hands. Yes, absolutely. It's quite interesting though, isn't it? Because on one hand, being a nurse, I guess you're dealing with a lot of trauma and a lot of drama, and yeah. then being a you know comedian, you, you, you're constantly laughing. And there's a lot of trauma and drama, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so, Zuli, are you a better performer than you are a nurse or a better nurse than you are a performer? Ooh, uh, let's just say I'm even. Oh, nice. Good answer. 50-50. <laughs> what sort of thing can we expect? I'm just curious about the show. Like, when we come along, what do we expect and what sort of songs? The way I have structured it is that you are in my emergency department and I am the triage nurse who decides if you're sick enough to get a bed. Oh. So, <laughs> uh, okay. And, of course, being a typical hospital, we have no free beds, so you have to sit down and shut up and listen to what I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that's pretty much the show. And um, because there's a lot of heavy material, being that it is nursing, comedy and music, it just helps to deliver the message a lot easier and people can take it a lot better. Mm. And, and how does it work? Do you sing to a soundtrack or do you actually play and sing at the same time? I have a pianist, yes. but I also play my own original tracks on oh, the piano. You're too well. talented for me, Zuli. Yes. You, you mentioned like that, that uh, the heavy side of nursing because there would be a lot of things. One of the things you cover too is the, the effects of a night shift on you because anyone who's worked any sort of shift work will know it makes you crazy, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, actually, I quite liked night shift because there's a lot less politics at night time because the, most of the people are at home asleep. So, um, yeah, I quite like working night shift, to be honest, but it does have quite a toll on you physically and mentally over time. Mm. Yeah, but... It's all part of the job. But you would have been dealing with drunk people, I guess, at night time. Because in New Zealand, you know, all the hospitals at night time are constantly just dealing with people that get drunk and come into the hospital. Uh, is that what you had to deal with? And does that help with your performances? <laughs> drunk if you're lucky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I actually... <laughs> I've actually been very lucky. That is not a challenge for anybody out there. Right. <laughs> um, I've been very lucky that I've only had a couple of people really heckle me, but right. um, I'm pretty good at, at uh, standing my ground and getting mm. what I need to do done because I'm a nurse. And I that's can what imagine we do. you would be, um, but you've also been doing some other things as well, a bit of screenwriting, and you've just been nominated for a Fringe World Award as well. Oh. That's right. Well done. <laughs> Hello, last week. That's kind of a big deal. Tell us a little bit more about the screenwriting. Uh, I have always been a writer. I always did everything. I always played the piano. I always did dancing lessons. I only recently, you know, in the last 10 years realised I could sing. But writing is something I've always done behind the scenes because I just love... Every time I thought there was something funny, especially at work when I was studying, um, every time something hilarious happened, I would grab some nursing progress notes and I've got all these notes written on nursing pages of funny things that I thought would happen and I just collated them all, sent them off to a competition and I won. Wow. Well, look for a, we'll look forward to a 
comedy set in a hospital yeah. some stage oh, in the near I future. I would love to write a TV series where it's <gasps> real nurses doing real nursing stuff because awesome. we, we never get shown properly on television. You don't. We never do. You're fine. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. Hey, well, thank you so much. <laughs> Triage made, it makes it, made its New Zealand debut at the Auckland Fringe Festival last night and it continues until Saturday. Tickets are available online, but they are selling fast.